Disney's Boulder Ridge Villas. This is a studio. There's room number 2538. Boulder Ridge Villas has about 136 rooms. And it, the building is adjacent to the Wilderness Lodge main lobby. The Boulder Ridge Villas have deluxe studios, which is what this room is, and then one and two bedrooms. There are no grand villas, and um, they don't have any like three bedrooms either. But So you notice that this foyer is extremely large, and it has laminate, so it is a little echoey right here. But as soon as you walk in, there's this little kitchenette. Now, I kind of underestimated how nice a kitchenette is. I'm like, oh, it's just a toaster and a microwave, coffee maker. But you have this whole extra like kitchen sink area. It comes stocked with paper towels and some cutlery, wine opener, towels, can opener. And then up here, I'm short, sorry. I can see that there's some paper bowls and plates and cups. There's some more cups over there. The ice bucket, toaster, and then empty cabinet. You also have all of these drawers. So that's, I mean, that's a nice space. If you're gonna be here for several days or you're trying to like make a quick breakfast or lunch, you can easily make sandwiches or like little frozen um, entrees that they have down in the store, um, bagels. So there's a lot you could do with just this much space. And then to your left, you have this bathroom area. So it looks very rustic, which is what Boulder Ridge and Wilderness Lodge is supposed to be. It's supposed to kind of evoke that whole rough in it feel. So you can see like this looks like an old water pump. I love that. I think that's probably my favorite feature of this whole room. But you see a lot of the, the wood and the iron. That's like almost like a rawhide kind of look. look you know everything is themed so this looks like cast iron so this is a big open space but it's not closed off so you couldn't have someone getting ready here at the sinks on the left of this area is the bathroom and it is a one switch for a light and fan so it's a little noisy in here but it's a shower tub combo again this is more the iron work So it's not super big, but it's definitely bigger than what we had at the Port Orleans. On the right, you have this closet. So there's all of our bags. So it means it, it's a really good size. So here is the, the like living area. And this is actually a very large space. It's kind of hard to do justice without being here in person. Um, but the like this dresser here is four drawers, and those drawers are really deep. Those that's a big dresser. This is almost as tall as I am. Then you have the TV. This is actually a day bed. Um, I don't want to try to venture do this by myself, but you know basically this folds the leaf comes down and then you pull this forward here is the little day bed there's like little bambi characters this is so cute and to open it all you did was press this this is a button and then it like started to fold down probably six feet because I'm only five foot tall and my head still have room and there's my feet down there it's actually pretty comfy too so this is cute I think that if you have a fifth sleeper a child or you know maybe a small adult definitely be worth it although I would be afraid of putting my head on here so there isn't a lot of overhead light it's mostly like lamps ambient lighting which is fine um but you know, I think that's the main overhead and that's a fluorescent. There's no overhead in the ceiling fan. 
So it's a queen bed and then a queen sofa sleeper. I haven't pulled that out yet. The pillows are a little messed up. That's not how they were when we came in. But we'll, um, the boys will sleep on this and hopefully it'll be comfortable enough. This is, uh, is that your manure? Or what is it? This is just, this is cute. I wish I knew more about art. I don't know who this is. Parklight brochures. Huh. I like that. I like that, like, vintage look. I think if you are interested in DVC, you should probably rent direct from Disney or rent DVC points before you buy in, just so you know if you like the studio villas or the one bedrooms or, you know, just make sure you like it. Now, notice that these do not have the USB. They are just traditional wall outlets, and these are the only ones I've seen so far. Notice that the whoever sleeps on this side of the bed doesn't have anywhere to put their phone or, um, like, any charging devices. So, overall, this is the Deluxe Studio at Disney's Boulder Ridge Villas at Wilderness Lodge. So Wilderness Lodge has two DVC properties. It has Copper Creek Villas and Boulder Ridge Villas. And the Boulder Ridge Villas have been here for a long time and they were refurbed in 2014. So these rooms are probably going to be coming up for a refurb pretty soon, that would be my guess. And then the Copper Creek Villas opened in 2017. Boulder Ridge has very limited inventory. It only had like 136 rooms, I wanna say is what I found, whereas Copper Creek had 220. And Copper Creek also has true two bedroom villas as well as three bedroom villas and those cabins on the lake. So there, there's a little bit more variety for Copper Creek versus Boulder Ridge. However, I will say that the lobby for Boulder Ridge is so beautiful and so like serene and calm and you could just like come here and just totally decompress and wind down after a day in the parks. You sit by the fireplace. Wilderness Lodge lobby is stunning, don't get me wrong, but Boulder Ridge Villas is kind of like the Wilderness Lodge but on a more intimate level. It's just a little smaller. Um, I think I kind of prefer the Boulder Ridge Lobby, honestly, I mean, I don't know. But what do you think? Have you stayed at Wilderness? Have you stayed at Boulder Ridge or Copper Creek? I want to stay at all of them eventually, but how about, let me know where you want me to stay next and I'll try to do a video on that because that's one of my bucket list items is I want to stay at every Disney resort and so I want to bring you along and I will show you every time I stay someplace new, I'll show you a new room tour. So anyhow, thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.